in the end, you've done some engineering, you've done your simulation, you've done your road testing, you may end up with a reason we think we're safe because we've done all these things. Now that you've done everything and you say it's time to deploy on the real world with no safety drivers, we're going to put the vehicles out there, how do you know, how do you have confidence that you're not going to hit the kid in the yellow shirt chasing a ball into the street on a residential street? And the argument is going to be, well, we did a lot of simulation, we did a lot of testing, but the counter argument is going to be something like this. Yes, you did 10 billion miles of simulation. That's awesome. But was there a simulator error? How do you know there's no simulation error? And you did 100 million miles of road data collected to feed into the simulation, but it was only 100 million miles. Maybe there's a once in every 200 million miles that leads to a fatal crash that you never saw, and so you didn't put in the simulation. Maybe there's a lot of things like that. So how do you know that you caught all the scenarios and all the objects? And you validated it by 10 million miles of road testing. That's great. That's impressive. But at 10 million miles of road testing, you're just not going to see stuff that happens every 100 million miles. And you did tens of thousands of repetitions on closed course testing of the tricky things that you can't reproduce in the world. Again, that's great. But you use dummies of kids instead of real kids. Now, dummies are what you should use in the closed course to be sure you don't want to put kids in danger. But there's always the chance there'll be something different about real kids. Maybe none of your dummies had a red hat on, and maybe that causes a problem with perception. Who can know until you do it? Maybe your perception training data was biased. It didn't have any red hats in it. How do you know about that? Oh, and for all this, use software binaries and tools you downloaded off the web or developed yourself, but you didn't use safety critical techniques for validating them. All these things are challenges. Now, I hope that any company that puts a vehicle on the road without a driver has addressed all these challenges. But these are the kind of things you have to think about beyond just, oh, it drove around and it seemed to drive okay. This is all the engineering challenge to make sure that this stuff goes beyond just sort of working into being really safe.